What's up, fight fans? This is Kurt DeVille with Counter Punch Boxing News, and I have some new news concerning Caleb Sweet Hands Plant. Caleb Plant ridicules, criticizes, and mocks Canelo Alvarez for losing his set aside date for the third straight time in a row. And this is what Caleb had to say. He said, for the third year in a row now, Plant wrote on his Facebook profile, for a date that's reserved for him, at what point is it not everyone else's fault? At what point does it fall on the hands of him and his team? You mean every opponent they've tried to book for the last three years is just ducking? Yo, chill. Those are the words of Caleb Sweet Hands Plant. Hmm. Okay. <clears throat> What Caleb's saying is for the last three years, uh, something has happened to the opponents of uh, Canelo Alvarez on that particular date. So he's trying to set up a trend, okay? Um, well, for one, if you go back in 2019, he tried to get fights done and made in other weight classes. Um, he went up and he went to to 175 with Kovalev and he but and he fought Kovalev that was in November then he turned around okay um and the pandemic hit in November um he missed his date then and he fought um Caleb Smith so he fought Kovalev then Caleb Smith December 20th um then Anvi Yudurum in February then he fought Billy Joe Saunders, okay? So this guy, remember it was Rocky Fielding first. Then after Rocky Fielding, then Kovalev, okay? Then Kovalev was at 175, all right? Then it was uh, Caleb Smith. Then he had a tune-up fight with Anvi Yadiram, his sparring partner. Then he went on to fight Billy Joe Saunders, okay? So each of those fights, Billy Joe Saunders, Callum Smith and Rocky Fielding, those were all championship matches at 168, okay? Those were all three belts, okay? So, Caleb Smith is the only one that was there. And remember, last year, 2020, that's when <clears throat> Canelo reached out to Caleb Plant and Caleb Plant's team turned that down and the reason for they didn't have enough time. And he was like, you're not going to do me like you did Kovalev. Okay, fair play to that. Now they revisit that fight after he beats Billy Joe Saunders. That fight was looks like it was a go. And the only reason that the fight wasn't didn't get made is because Al Heyman did not want to honor the money that Canelo Alvarez wanted if if Caleb Smith or should I say Caleb Caleb Plant didn't come through or got injured, okay, with that fight. And they weren't willing to do that. That is the reason for the fight not getting made. Now, if you're wanting to look at consistency and Canelo not getting fights made. He's made fights with everyone that they've actually offered, okay? Except for PBC fighters. See, knowing that we know now, uh, Roberto Gomez cracked it wide open when Canelo was with Golden Boy, okay? And they offered Jamal Charlo the fight at 160, PBC fighter, okay? Al Heyman told that side, the other side meaning, we're worlds apart. That fight ain't going to happen. And Jamal Charlo didn't even know about that. That's the saddest thing about it. And then, like I've told you guys, there's a lot of situations like that when offers are getting made and the politics that be won't allow that fight to even get off the ground because those guys fight on two different type platforms. OK, so that wasn't going to happen. Why do you think it was such a big stink for Canelo Alvarez to come over on the PBC side? Because there was no way that they were going to negotiate it any other way. Al Heyman wasn't going to bring anything on any type of DAZN app, and he doesn't care about the amount of money that is pushing or whatever. Look what happened with Wilder. Look what happened with Ortiz. And look what happened now to Caleb Plant. Now Caleb Plant is trying to uh, make and create this narrative that, hey, Canelo Alvarez is having problems making fights. The only problems that he had making fights was with you twice and with a, a total failed attempt with Jamal Charlo, which he didn't even know of. Okay, so that makes you look bad 
two times on top of Jamal Charlo not even being informed. So his team didn't even let him know that an offer was sent for four or five million dollars more money than his ass ever made. <clears throat> and I keep hearing Caleb Plant say, hey, Canelo Alvarez turned down career high, day, high, uh, high career payday money, right? But here's the counterpunch. So did you. See, because your advisor didn't want to honor that fight with Canelo. He convinced you why it was such a bad deal instead of getting you paid the most money that you will ever be paid in your life. There is nobody over there on the PBC side where he will, when he will make that type of money. No, two, three million dollars max, if that, okay? And that's with an upside if, if the pay-per-view even makes an upside if he fights someone like David Benavidez. Okay, that's the only fight that he can really make over there. And you know damn well, David is no Canelo. Okay, we know that. So for him trying to uh, ridicule Canelo, you're worried about some kind of company standards on why your company or your promoter didn't want to make the fight if you didn't fight, which makes no sense to me because if I'm, <clears throat> I'm thinking about myself, I'm like, damn everybody else. You know, I'm not worried about why he didn't take it. I'm worried about why I'm not fighting him to get the money that I need for my family. Because at the end of the day, it's all about the money. But Caleb Plant obviously doesn't need the money. Because if he's saying things like Canelo's having problems getting fights, no, Canelo fought everybody that he set out to fight except on your side of the street. Okay? And then it makes, it look, makes him look worse because... He had an opportunity to fight Canelo last year and it didn't happen. And your reason for that was, wasn't enough time. Fair enough. What is the reason now? The reason why you don't want to fight him. Oh yeah, that's right. It was, some, it was something that had nothing to do with you. It was a technicality on an if. You know what I mean? And you're worried about that. I wouldn't be worried about something that Bob Air, I mean, that Al Heyman uh, had with Canelo and what he didn't like. If you guys were willing to do all this, the one thing that you couldn't do in, in case you didn't fight had nothing to do with you at all. That had nothing. Caleb Plant stepping out or being injured or being sick or whatever, that had nothing to do with him fighting. See, had he fought, it, we wouldn't have had a problem. But so you guys, or should I say Al Heyman, had a problem with the technicality on what if this happens. And knowing it made sense now that you think about it, it's COVID season. This is the second year of COVID, right? <clears throat> really the first full year because last year it kind of started in February or March or whatnot. But we know now how many fights get called off due to COVID. So if Caleb Plant ended up sick or ended up testing positive, that's all it would take. So now you understand why Canelo Alvarez would pull that type of a card because it's like, well, there's no guarantee that he'll get in the ring. It ain't all about getting injured. He could get sick like Tyson Fury or anybody else that got sick in the last year and whatever, months, right? This stuff has been out. But I mean, but again, that has nothing to do with Caleb Plant. Caleb Plant is just the opponent. All right. But him saying, oh, well, he doesn't get his, uh, his, his, date for the third straight time like dude you you really proud of that shit because at the end of the day you messed up your biggest payday worried about his biggest payday don't worry about canelo can you think canelo worried about 40 million dollar pay a payday for 40 million bucks no he doesn't care about that if you're already making 30 guaranteed what's really 10 taxes that's really yeah, it's a huge amount of money but if you are accustomed to making that type of check it doesn't bother you at the end of the day. Whereas Caleb, on the other hand, when when was the last time, motherfucker, you've made $10 million? So if anybody should be upset, it should be you. Not wisecracking, not criticizing, not mocking. You should be upset because your fucking advisor didn't want to make the deal for you to fight Canelo. But it just shows you the mentality of somebody either pulling or saying or talking some good game to these fighters or brainwashing them or all the above. But anyway, you guys tell me what you think of Caleb Plant mocking Canelo Alvarez for the third straight time or the third straight time in three years that he hasn't able been able to conceal his date. Of course, please subscribe. And you guys been Counterpunch. Peace.